Hey, this is Kyle Williams from SeedsOfMusic.net. In this short video on Acoustic Songs to Learn, Part 1, I'm going to show you how to play Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. When you make it through to the end of the video, I'll show you how to play the solo. Here are the chords that you'll need to know. This altered E minor, G major, this A sus chord, C major, D major, and A minor. The intro to Wish You Were Here is going to use the altered E minor in A major chords, or the A sus chord actually, that I showed you. But before we do that, there's a little lead in that comes up to the altered E minor chord that kind of will use the same notes that you see at the bottom of your G major here. And it's kind of just a climb up to that chord. Here's what it sounds like. So what you're going to see here is... So the first note you play is this G here. Then you play the A. Hammer on. So what we have is, and then the next note after that is an open D. So what we have is, right after that D is this altered E minor chord. So you really only want to play those last few there. So the next notes that come after that is an open G, and then E, and then your G major. So you have. So when you put that all together, it looks like this, and I'll play it slow for you. So at the speed that it's played at, and this next part is using the A sus chord, which is this. So the lead in sounds like this. So what we're going to do is, after you reach this altered E minor chord, you're going to play this note, which is the E, and then the D, and then the B, and then that open A, and you're going to form this A sus chord here. And by the way, if you need to learn any of these chords, um, just reference the chord overlay charts that I'm putting up for you to learn those chords. And if you need to, just pause the video and just work on that chord, because you're going to need to know the chords before you can do any of that stuff. So again, what we got here, if I take this G run up to the E altered minor, and then to the A sus chord, it's going to look like this, or sound like this, I should say. And then right after that, you're going to hammer on. So that's like slowly. I'm going to play this A sus part again very slowly. So we're going. And that's essentially everything you need for that intro. So again, here it is.
and then just back to the G. And then the solo comes here. And you play just the same thing. And you just play the same thing that you just did while you solo over top of that. So now it's on to the verse, and the verse is going to be much more simple than the intro because you're just playing straight chords. You don't really need to do any runs or anything. So let's just imagine that we finished up with the uh, intro chords at the G major. And you got to go to C. Then to D major. Then to A minor. Then to G major. Then back to D major. Then to C major. And then to A minor. And then to G major. Now the cool thing about the chorus is that it's going to use the same chord progression as the verse, so you don't really need to learn anything new. You just need to make sure that you know really well and practice all the chords that are used in it. Just keep practicing the chords by themselves and soon you'll be moving smoothly through the chord changes. So now you know part one of acoustic songs to learn. Do you love guitar and want to improve but don't know where to start? I've got a free guitar chord chart and guide waiting for you. Just grab them in the link in the description box below.